Hi guys, welcome to my very first eyeshadow tutorial. So to start out, I already primed and set my eyes with a skin tone powder. And the first color I'm going into is from the e.l.f. Cosmetics Mad for Matte Jewel Pop with a flat shader brush. And I am just bringing that green color all over my lid, building it up quite dark. And I'm bringing it up, as you'll see in just a little bit, up above my natural crease and then just blending it out. I didn't want to fast forward through this bit because I really do want to show you the process of how long it does take to build up the shadow and to blend it out once you do reach either your natural crease if you want to cut it there. Next I took the shade from the Zodiac palette. This is the Capricorn dark green kind of olive shade and I just used that on the outer V to just build a little bit of depth and dimension to the look. And then I just took a fluffy blending brush and began to blend out the corners of the, or the edges of the green shadow. Next, I went into the Subculture palette and took the shade Edge right there, that yellow edge color, and I began to blend it into my, above my natural crease, but into where I'm creating my crease and blending it into where the green shadow ends. And I'm really taking my time here, really building up the color. You don't want to go in with too much of any shade from the Subculture palette because it can get really muddy really quickly. But if you just take your time, go a little bit at a time with the color and build it up, it'll look really, really beautiful. And also, as you can see, I do have quite a bit of fallout. So I am doing my eyes first before the rest of my makeup. Next, I am going back into the Zodiac palette and I am taking the green Sagittarius color and I am just putting that all over my lid on top of the matte green shades. This really just helps make the lid pop and add more of the green dimension that I was looking for on my lid. Next, I just take a makeup wipe and I clean up all of that fallout and make a nice crisp line. Next, I am taking the Stila Shimmer and Glow and I'm adding this also just to the outer edge of each eye just to add a little bit more sparkle and dimension. As you can see, I'm adding just a little bit and then blending it out with my fingers just so that it prevents creasing and blends out just a little bit better. Next, go back in with a makeup wipe and just clean up any of the remaining fallout. For my eyeliner, I first go in with my Physician's Formula in Ultra Black just to draw the actual outer edge of the wing. After the outer edges are done, I go in with the NYX Epic Ink Liner and I actually use that to draw on the rest of my wing. To 
today I'm using the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. And I'm layering that with the Lash Princess from Essence. And that is the final look. From here, you could either do your base makeup and put on the rest of your foundation concealer, or you could leave it like this, as I did. I didn't wear foundation this day. I really enjoyed this look, and I hope you enjoyed this video as well. Thank you so much for hanging out and checking out this video. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this and you want to see any more tutorials in the future, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!